Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. Sorry about that. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Okay, we're gonna put my phone on silent so I can actually. Hey guys, what's. Oh my god, what is it? Calm down. Okay, okay. Let me just read the message. Okay, Apple leaked the new Mac. Okay, fine. Well, then we won't even waste any time. We'll just jump right in. No intro. We're just content, content, content. So what are you waiting for? If you're excited for today's video, drop a like down below. It seriously helps me and the channel out. And click that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications so that you never miss a beat. Howdy, y'all. It's Sam here. Welcome back to another video. I don't know why. I guess it's like the Midwest to me. It kind of comes out at different points. Yeah, we have a lot to talk about today. Um, let's kick things off with, with this story. <laughs> I know which story, because I prepped for this video. And that story is... Apple just dropped some new products. And by Apple just dropped some new products, I mean that Beats dropped some new products. And by Beats dropped some new products, I mean that they dropped some new colorways for an existing product. That's right, Beats Studio Buds just got updated with three fresh colors. Count it, one. Two, there's three colors, let's just move on. There's actually a really cool video game-esque promo video that Beats posted on their YouTube channel. It's, uh, it's a good time. And they show off moon gray, sunset pink, and ocean blue. And they all look pretty good. That also apparently came out that the Beats Studio Buds are the best and fastest selling Beats Studio Beats product in general ever. I don't know anybody that bought these, but did you buy them? Sure you did, you poor <laughs> Buy the AirPods, little baby. Don't use these beat, I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I know there's some of you that were like, oh, me? He's insulting me? No, all joking aside, the in-ear design just doesn't work for me, so I like to roast them. But overall, they seem pretty good, and the value at being $150 is great. And now it's even a little bit better because you got new colors and you get the active noise cancellation, good battery life, syncs instantly to Android and iPhone. It's a genuinely a good product. So new colors, they're out now. Next up, something that's not on Apple.com, but that will be sold in a couple little bit weeks, I don't know when, but soon, is this new charger. You know what they say about chargers? They be charging your credit card because this is probably going to be expensive as f I mean, I don't know. I'm just guessing, but it's an Apple branded charger that is actually kind of unique and Charger Lab got the scoop on what it's going to look like. We had initially heard about this from a different source a few days back, but Charger Lab was just straight up like, no, 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 we don't talk about things. We show you things. And I was like, that's, I like these guys. I like when we just get to see stuff. So here's your first look at the new charger. As you can see, this 35 watt adapter features not one, but two USB-C ports, which will be the first Apple branded charger ever to do so. Now you might say, hey, haven't I I seen third parties do this for uh, a number of years there, pal. You have, yeah, because they have been doing it. The third parties have been doing a lot more with charging tech than Apple, but it looks like this new charger is gonna at least be a good step in the right direction with more watts and a smaller form factor with more ports. That's a win, 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 except again, when we probably see the price because I'm sure that this is gonna be like $50 or something, maybe more, I don't know. Apple's chargers have historically been really expensive. I mean, just look at this MacBook Pro charger. It's over a hundred dollars to just buy it. Joking aside, this is not obviously going to be a super significant product and we don't actually know what it's going to be bundled with or if Apple is going to sell it separately. But I do at least appreciate that the design is unique. Like I have never seen a charger on the market that put them, uh, well, not per perpen, uh, next to each other. Rather, you know, they usually do this, you know, like little chargers like this. Apple's like, like this. All right. This is... <laughs> Are the hand movements helping? They're helping me. Oh, and it's a foldy boy, so you can fold it up and it'll be real compact when you put it into the wall and then the, the ports are gonna be in the bottom when it's plugged in. So that's that news. That's great. That leaked. Uh, what about other things? Because that leaked from a third party. What about something that leaked straight from Apple themselves? You guys know me. I like these leaks a lot because I can use the word confirmed. I could use the word 100%. I could use the word re released? I can't? Okay, well, it's not out yet, but it's going to be released soon, probably as soon as WWDC. What am I talking about? A new Mac. Mark Gurman said that he believes some new Macs are going to be coming, one of which will be the MacBook Air, but a second one he didn't have a ton of clarity on. He just said, I believe a second Mac is coming early summer, which would be WWDC, Apple's next event. So well then, what's this next Mac going to be? What is it? Well, let's, uh, let's take a look and see what Apple has to say about it. A developer by the name of Steve Trotton Smith 
Smith over on Twitter noted something very peculiar about the Studio Display firmware. Now listen, say what you will about the Studio Display, but I gotta thank it for this, for running iOS, because the firmware has revealed so many things, like the fact that this computer has RAM inside and all kinds of crazy stuff. But most importantly, it just revealed that Apple's gonna drop a new Mac Mini pretty soon. See, hidden inside of the Studio Display firmware, if you dig around a bit, it turns out Apple referenced an unreleased Mac, specifically Mac Mini 10,1. Now, we're gonna play a little game here, because you guys know me, I'm a real goofy guy, I love games. You have the chance to guess for a major prize what Mac Mac Mini 10,1 is referring to. Here are the options. You've got Mac Mini, Mac Mini, Mac Mini, or you have the iPod Classic. Those are your four options. Now we're gonna do a quick little timer countdown and it looks like we're about out of time and you picked the MacBook Air. That wasn't even an option. How did you even pick that one? That wasn't on the, oh, it was E, you found E. Yeah, go f yourself. I picked the Mac Mini, so I win. And that's what it is, okay? It's the Mac Mini, which falls right in line with the second Mac that we're hearing is coming. And considering the fact that Apple coded it in the software of the already just released studio display, I am almost 100% confident that this Mac is coming really soon. Like German has said, new Macs in May or June. One of them is gonna be the MacBook Air with M2. The second, which also Steve TS says he believes is going to be this Mac Mini with not an M1 Pro, but also the M2 chip inside. Now we've talked about the M2 chip. It's gonna have faster cores than the M1, but it's not gonna be a, a major adjustment. It's still gonna have an eight core CPU. So same total core count, just a little bit quicker. And then it'll have a slightly better nine or 10 core GPU. So not a major upgrade, but a nice upgrade over the M1. To be fair though, sources are actually pretty split on what chip is gonna be inside this computer. Some are like, yeah, it's 100% gonna be M2, but even Steve TS updated his initial tweet to say, I actually think it is gonna be M1 Pro and M1 Max. And that actually also mirrors what nine to five Mac has found, meaning that more sources think Apple's just gonna put the older M1 chips in here, which does make sense. I mean, this is going to be a Mac mini situated very close to the performance of a Mac MacBook Pro, and the MacBook Pro does use M1 Pro and M1 Max. And Apple's just gonna slide that right in there, okay? They're gonna put that right in the Mac Mini. This is confirmed. Apple has confirmed the new Mac Mini is coming. No, nope, no comments from you this time, Palio. It's in the software. The code speaks for itself. Guys, that's your freaking Apple News update. And I'm getting excited here if I'm starting to say things like freaking. So we might as well end the video before I cancel myself and say something like, when I think about black I think of happiness. I was gonna say happiness. All right, you can cancel me now. That was fair. You know, it still looks really bad being like me. Now me, of course, be <coughs> What was that? Can I not die real quick? Thanks, I gotta finish this video, leave. Now I, of course, being God himself. So, can you shut the f up with your car? You're not cool. <laughs> they leaked the stuff. They didn't mean to leak it, but they leaked it. Um, a, um, inside, Inside the studio, inside, see inside the studio displays for, see inside them. Um, can we calm down on the news? Okay, I get it. There's news. I'm not sure if this video was eight minutes, so we're just gonna throw this in the bloopers if you need extra time, you know, to get the extra ads in there. If you ever wonder like, why does he make his videos eight minutes? I'm just gonna tell you, I'm gonna freaking tell you. See, I'm starting to curse already. I'm gonna freaking tell you straight up that uh, it's because of the ads. So hopefully we're over eight minutes. If we're not, then, Enjoy this video of a dog. <laughs> You're such a goof.